Audacity 3.4.0 introduced a bug in recording. It is a showstopper for some people as they are unable to record any new piece of audio. Let me show you when that is happening. If you see my audio settings for recording, I have set 32-bit float for the default sample rate. I can record as usual with this recording. You can see the usual waveform after I record something. If I play it, you can hear it. So I am recording and this is a test recording. You can see that the recording is happening normally. I will change the sample rate now to 24-bit. Many platforms require 24-bit rate, especially the audiobook platforms. So some people prefer 24-bit recording. I will set 24-bit. If I record now, it would be a disaster. I can check the meter level even before recording. It is in the red zone all the time. I will now record something. It is red all over the place. If I play the audio, you will listen how bad it is. I will play it in a very low volume so that it does hurt your ear. It is all hissing noise, and the actual volume is much louder. If you are using Audacity 3.4.0, record in 32-bit float. After you finish your editing process and you are ready for the final export, you can choose the proper bit rate. You do not need to record in 24-bit as because many platforms requires it. You can always export at the proper bit rate. I hope Audacity fixes this bug in the next release. So this was the bug introduced in Audacity 3.4. If you are in between active projects, do not update to Audacity 3.4. Upgrade only when you have no active editing projects. I want to show you next an amazing Audacity tool I developed. I developed those with my years of audio editing experience. If you are into professional voice editing, this is a handy tool. You can turn your raw recording into professional quality in a single click. The waveform you see on the screen is a raw recording. I will make a duplicate and compare between the original and the improved. I will improve the top track. Select everything inside the track and go to Tools. From Apply Macro, you can choose the type of improvement you want. I have several types of improvement like Clear Vocal, ESS Reduction, Intelligent Improve, Interview Improve, Podcast Improve etc. All these improvements can improve audio quality in a single click. I will show you in a moment where you can get these. I will apply the clear vocal improve on this recording. The audio has become improved instantly. Let's listen to the original and improved audio to understand the difference. I will play the original first and then the improvement. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface among the audio editing software. Even if you are a beginner, you can start using Audacity with a very small learning curve. You have to learn the basics of audio editing and you are good to go. To clean up audio recordings using Audacity, you have to know some basics about the audio data. Though Audacity is 100% free, it is powerful enough to do professional quality work many full-time voice artists and audiobook narrators. So you see what a massive improvement I got just in a click. Installation of these macros is very easy. From the tools menu, go to Macro Manager. You have to import the macros. Click on Import. You will get a zip file from me and unzip that file, and you will get the macros and EQs folder. To import the macros, select the macros folder. If you want to use the professional EQ separately, you will also get those in the EQs folder. Inside the macros folder, you will get some txt files. From the file name, you would know which macro it is. Each txt file is a separate macro. You have to select a macro and open. You have to import the macros one by one as Audacity does not support bulk import of macros. The macros you have imported will be listed on the left side and are ready to use. So where do you get these macros? You can get these macros in this Buy Me A Coffee page. I have developed 11 macros with professional EQs with my years of audio editing experience. I have a detailed installation guide in the description. If you want to use these professional EQ separately, you will find instructions on that. These macros come with after-sales service, so if you have any difficulty in using or installing these macros, you can email me. If you are looking for an efficient way to produce high-quality voice, these macros are the solution.